Hi guys, what's up? It's December 6th and I wanted to start filming some Christmas content. So far my sister and I have filmed a little bit. We filmed us trying Starbucks stuff and then we filmed us looking at Christmas decorations in Walmart. So today I'm making ricotta cookies. I really wanted to film today because I'm really craving the cookies today. So let's get started. Come into my kitchen, let's turn up the heat Cause I know you're getting hungry, so let's cook up a feast this is the recipe I'm using. So first, I need to do the liquid ingredients, and then in a separate bowl, I should mix the powder ingredients. Last time I did this, I didn't do two separate bowls, I just did one, and it worked out fine, so I'm doing that again. I really wanted to buy a beautiful mixing bowl for this video. As you can see, this one isn't very aesthetic, but I do have these really nice measuring cups. See, they're like nutcrackers, and they're pink with polka dots. But the good thing about this is that it's Tupperware, so if I want to save the dough, I can just put the lid on. I'm afraid of what I'm going to see in the background once I watch this video back. It's not that disastrous, is it? So the first thing I need are two sticks of unsalted butter, softened. So I'm going to microwave them a little bit. I had just enough eggs left, two eggs left. So now I just have to add in the eggs and the ricotta cheese and vanilla and then mix that. Now I have to add the ricotta, two tablespoons vanilla extract. Now I'm adding the vanilla. You're not supposed to measure things out over the bowl, but I'm taking a risk. This is half a tablespoon, but I feel like it looks really big, but a little bit too much vanilla won't hurt. I already screwed this up because I was supposed to just mix the butter and sugar first. I hope it turns out right. Now the ricotta. All right, let me add all this ricotta. I wanted to see if it would just pop out, but it's not popping out. Ooh, maybe it will. There we go. I just washed these. Now I'm gonna measure out the sugar. It's spilling everywhere. One cup. Now it's time to mix it. Let's just cover that right up. Okay, All right, we'll cover it up with that. So next I have to put in one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, and four cups of flour. Come into my kitchen, let's turn up the heat, cause I All right, I added the baking powder. Now for the baking soda. And then one more. Now I need four cups of flour. I actually have fresh flour this time. The last time I made this, I used flour that had been expired for over a year. I mean, I didn't taste the difference. I don't think we got sick. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. I wanted to scoop it, but it's gonna be too difficult. I wanted to show my beautiful cups. This is not working. It's going everywhere. What is that? What am I, like in kindergarten? Oh my gosh, it's such a mess. This is after I mixed in all the flour. I actually lost count of how many cups. I knew that was gonna happen, but I saw it wasn't the right consistency, so I added another. So I know it's right now. Now I have to preheat the oven to 350. I should have done that earlier, but I forgot. And now I have to make the icing that goes on them. So you're supposed to mix milk, powdered sugar and almond extract, but I don't like almond extract. When I made this years ago with almond extract, it turned out nasty. So I actually replaced the almond extract with vanilla and it tastes a lot better. This is the icing. Obviously it's not fully mixed. Now I have to put the dough in the balls. All right, so I put them all in balls on the parchment paper and now I'm gonna put them in the oven for nine minutes. These just came out of the oven. I have to wait until they cool before I put the icing on them or else it will just slide off. While I wait for those to cool, I thought I could make this Barbie hot cocoa. It says if you mix it with hot water, it will turn pink. So let's find out. Here's my cup of hot water. I think it's a little too hot. Oh my gosh, it's gonna burn me. I have my Barbie themed cup. Here's the mix. Ooh, feels weird. The mix is white. That's so strange. So I'm supposed to put in, so it'll be four tablespoons that I need to put in. There it is. It's already working. That's cool. Oh, not that. <laughs> this is what it looks like. The color is not that accurate um, on the camera. It's just kind of, it's like a peachy color. It's cute. It's brighter than this in real life. But I mean, this is cute too. Pink, for sure. It came with these marshmallows. I had to get pink marshmallows. These are peppermint flavored pink marshmallows. Oh my gosh, it looks unappetizing because it doesn't match. Oh, well, okay, let me try it. 
Oh my God, it's so good. I was expecting it to be nasty because it looks like, it looks like the silica things that come in different products, but it's actually really good. Oh, and let me try the marshmallow. Marshmallows are really good too. Oh my goodness. This was a success. Now I gotta finish these cookies before my camera dies. Now I'm putting the cookies in the icing. They also taste really good if you wait for this coat to dry and then you put another coat of icing on it. And then once this dries, I'm gonna put this um, edible gold dazzle dust on it. The icing, I believe, is dry enough now. So I just dusted all the cookies with this gold edible glitter. And here's the finished product. So I'm gonna end this part of the video here. I hope you make these cookies yourself. They don't actually taste like ricotta cheese. I would say they taste more like a cakey, less sweet sugar cookie. And I'll see you soon when I film more Christmas content. Bye. Hey guys. hey guys! I've seen a lot of people doing this lately. Everyone's been trying the Starbucks holiday drinks. I think we have pretty much everything from the menu, and so we're just gonna be taste testing it all. And in addition to all the holiday drinks, we also have the holiday treats. This is the sugar plum danish. Oh this must be really good because it's always sold out. It smells really good too. And then we have the snowman cookies, snowman cookie. which I've heard good things about. And we also have... Oh my gosh. I got so much they gave me a bag. We have the gingerbread loaf. Oh my god. And this is the peppermint mocha cake pop. Oh I, my gosh. I don't think it's called peppermint brownie, maybe. So I have high hopes for everything. And I decorated our background yesterday. Take a look. Isn't it cute? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It looks really good. I think it looks like a mall display. I guess we'll try the drinks first. Which mm -hmm. one do you want to try first? Okay. So I'll try the, this chestnut praline latte. Okay. Number one. That's good. That's actually good. What's it taste like? I don't really know what it tastes like it, obviously it's supposed to be chestnut praline but like i don't really know what that t is supposed to taste like i realize when you do taste tests you can't just be like it's good i know like it's like i don't know like okay let me try it mm, i love it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's pretty good i like it wait let me try it again i'm gonna taste it again and i'm gonna give my like rating okay it's a little sweet i feel like the latte like for some reason with this is like a little, cause like my favorite is the sugar cookie almond milk latte. So I just feel like, and that's not as sweet. So maybe it's just a little bit sweet, but I don't know. I'd probably give it like seven out of 10. I think it's like the perfect amount of sweetness. I can't really describe what it tastes like because I've never eaten a chestnut. So I guess, and I don't even know what a pretty is. I know, is, so no me neither. I don't know what it's supposed to taste it like. It possibly tastes like that, I don't know. But it's really yeah. good, I recommend it. Oh, and I love the topping. Oh, and this also has the cold foam on it, which is really good. You know, I'd probably change my rating to an eight. It's pretty good. It's just a little bit sweet, but that really only knocks off like two points. Like it's still really good. What I want to try next is iced sugar cookie almond milk latte. This is where it's at. With the sugar cookie cream cold foam. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really does taste like a sugar it's cookie. Identical to it. I like it, but I think I don't know if I like the almond milk in it. I figured that's how you would feel. I feel like it tastes like earthy. It definitely does, but that's kind of what I like about it. This is not my first impression. I love this drink. Poor frogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 10 out of 10. And I remember when this drink when this drink first came out, because I don't think they had this drink before last year. I think it came out last year. And everyone was hating on it on TikTok, saying that it was like the worst drink. And that was a personal attack to me because this drink is so good. But I definitely think that it would be good without the almond milk. Like, I like the almond milk, but I think if you were to get it like with something different, like, you would like it even more. Yeah, I think if I were to order that, again, I would get it with just regular milk. Oh, the cold foam, that's like the best thing to ever exist. 10 out of 10. I really like the cold foam, but I feel like it tastes kind of yogurty. But if you like that, you like it. I, I like yogurt, so maybe that makes sense. So next, we're going to try. <laughs> I'm trying to read the abbreviations. <laughs> the iced gingerbread oat milk chai. I'm a fraud again because I didn't just order it as is. I ordered it with regular milk and only one pump of chai because I just knew I wasn't gonna like it if it had um, oat milk or too much chai. I liked the pumpkin chai that they had for the fall drinks. It was good, but it was just a little bit sweet. Um, but we'll see if I like it. To be honest, I think I'm going to prefer the gingerbread flavor over the pumpkin. So we'll see. Is it good? I don't like that at all. It tastes like um, baby food carrots. <laughs> Carrot baby food. No, you got to give me this drink. I don't like that at all. We have different tastes, so I could like it. Now then again, you didn't order it exactly how it is. So maybe it would be good if you would have ordered it like regular. I think it would have been worse. 
No. <laughs> no. Do you agree with me? Yes, actually, that is like the most accurate thing ever. Yeah, I know. Took me back to us in the simpler times. It doesn't taste like gingerbread to me. It, I don't even think it tastes like chai. Like, it kind of does, but... I, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Don't, I didn't enjoy that. Um, zero out of ten. <laughs> yeah. So next we're going to try the venti iced caramel brulee latte with the caramel yeah. brulee hold them. <laughs> so much for using a separate straw. That's really good. That's good. It's really sweet. Mm -mm. Really caramely, really great. I feel like I'm not the biggest caramel fan. I feel like I've kind of discovered that about myself, so we'll see how I feel about this drink. I've become a bigger fan of it over time. Okay. I think this one is probably on one of the sweeter ones. Really tastes like the holidays, whatever that yeah. means. No, people, that makes sense. People said that, like, the pumpkin chai was, like, falling in a cup. So I was like, everyone described it. So I think that Yeah, that I feel sense. like it's very Christmassy. I'm gonna try to get some of this cool Oh my god. We might as well just to drink out of the same cups because this is not very, like, this is not really any more sanitary. It's not it is sanitary. It is. This is really good. It reminds me of the McDonald's caramel, like, frappuccino thing. Oh, really? And really that's really a good different. thing because the McDonald's caramel whatever y'all know what I'm talking about that is good so I agree. that's a good thing the cold foam is like the best part though the cold foam is really good I probably give it like 8 out of 10 it's a little bit sweet but it's really good all, all right, right let's try this what's this yes, oh yeah let's go grande I accidentally ordered a grande I wanted to get a venti this is the grande iced white chocolate peppermint mocha I think I said that out of order but it doesn't matter and then it has the peppermint chocolate cold foam on it so Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I haven't had the white chocolate peppermint drink yet. I did have the regular, but not the white chocolate. So this is... I'm not a fraud. I really like it. I really like it. I like these kind of drinks, but... The strong mint flavor doesn't really sit right with me, but it's worth it. I like it. I don't love it. I like the regular peppermint mocha better. Which is weird, because I feel like I would have liked this one better. But, yeah, it's still good, though. Um, I like it, and I would, I would order it, but I would... I would order the peppermint mocha. Like, if they were out of the peppermint mocha, I would get this, is what I'm saying. Oh, the foam is really good. I like it. I'd probably give it, I'd give it like 9 out of 10, honestly. All right, so I want to try first the gingerbread loaf. Yes, oh my gosh. This is what I've been looking forward to more than the coffee. So this is gingerbread right, loaf, go. and it's supposed to have like a citrus icing on it, something like that. Yeah, I'm good. It's really good. I don't know what's up with the icing. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but... It's good. I wouldn't order it again. I actually like the icing, but I don't know if I like the icing with this. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant. I get it again. I like it. Probably give it like seven out of ten. It's good. Oh, that bite was good. Maybe I will get it again. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like a candle, but like in a good way. Mm -hmm. And I like the orange icing. No, I probably do like eight out of ten. It's good. Clearly, I ate my entire half. I give it five and a half out of ten. All right, next we're going to try the snowman cookies. And I think these are supposed to be like a shortbread cookie. Mmm. I think it's really good. I never had the urge to buy these because I thought they were going to be like the ones you buy in the grocery store that are like rock hard. But they're not. They're a really good texture. Oh my gosh, I love this. 10 out of 10. I love anything that is like a sugar cookie tasting. And that's what this is giving me, so... I would 100% eat this whole thing. But I really don't need to. I think I'd give it like 8 out of 10 or maybe a little more. I definitely like it better than the gingerbread loaf. Mm, me too. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Alright, next we're gonna try this taste pop. I already know I'm gonna love this. You can have the rest. I love the texture. I mean, I always love the texture of K pops. Best thing ever. And I like the like crystal sprinkles on the outside too. Alright, we're trying this. Last thing we're gonna be trying the sugar plum Danish. Are sugar plums real? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Girl, you're asking the wrong person. Just by the looks of this, I feel like it's going to be 10 out of 10. I wonder if this is selling out. Yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It kind of reminds me of like a Cracker Barrel biscuit when you put the jelly mm -hmm. and butter on it. Yeah. It's like better. That's like the best way to describe what she is like. I think this could be my favorite, but mm -hmm. it depends on what mood I'm in. Mm -hmm. Like maybe I want the snowman cookie, but this is probably my favorite. Yeah, I would say this or the peppermint. Cake pop would be my favorite. Do I say 10 out of 10 to this? And that's all I have to say. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, I guess what I gotta say. You know how like most people when they do these videos, like they take the pastry and they like just take the little bite and they like they give their rating. Like no, I eat like they, they do I, that. Yes. Oh.
I ate like up. the whole thing and I was like three out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure it's soft. <laughs> no, literally. Okay, anyways. Thank you so much for watching. It's probably gonna be part of another video, but I mean, whatever. Just in case, just in case it's not. Video. Thank you for watching us try the Starbucks drinks. Some of them were trash, some of them were good, and that's the end of the story. But we had a great time. But we had a great time. So yeah. Bye. Okay, okay, okay. One, three, no. Three, two, one. Hi, hey guys. guys. That so, sounded like dissonant. Like, that didn't sound good. Scary. I was like, hey guys. <laughs> Let's practice the pitch. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Alright, that was more on pitch. Ready?